everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, how are you? It's me, Cindy. Um, I've got a little bonus video for you today. Um, this is what we're going to be using. We have a couple bezels here. Uh, these are actually quite large ones. We've got some sequins, um, some star sequins. This is just round red sequins. I've got some other, I don't know what you call this. It's like a confetti mishmash of shapes and sizes. Okay. And we've got some eyeballs. I found these, I think it was in Hobby Lobby, and I just, I had to have them. They were really, really cool. Um, I have a little plastic star here. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. And we've got some glossy accents. Now, let me show you what I'm going to make. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Here's one. There's another one. These are the ones that I had previously made and decided I had to do a video on this because it's just so much fun. There's two more. And then I have two more. Aren't they really cool? Now these ones were also used, um, they were also making, used glitter in those. Let me grab my glitter. And you know, another thing we could use in these are um, seed beads. We could put seed beads in this as well, and that'd be really cool. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to figure out how I want to lay this out. So let's start with one. I know I want to use this star, the silver star. I just think that's really pretty. So I'm going to put some silver star in there. Oops, lost a piece. Okay, it doesn't have to be full because I want to put other things in here. I don't want to put just the silver stars. So I want that in there. Now I have um, different types. This is actually in my glitter. But I have these little round, uh, I don't know what they call them. They're like little, little tiny beads. I might use some of those. Let's see. We've got silver in here. What else are we going to put in this? love to put an eye in here. How about a purple eye? I like it. Now I want something out of this stuff that's purple. And I just saw, look at that, it's a purple feather. Isn't that cool? So let's put that purple feather here. Like it. And then I don't think I have any purple of those beads, but I do have purple glitter here. So let's put a little bit of glitter in here. I'm just looking to see what I've got here. We're going to use a little bit of this glitter. Now that silver will still sh um, show through. Okay, we got to get that down in there. So let's put that down in. And actually what we can do, if you don't like how much silver is there, we can just add more stars. Now you don't really want to get this um, too far up over the edge of the bezel because you want your glossy accents to be able to lay down into it. Alright, so I think that's all I'm going to put in that one. Let's see, this one here. I want to grab some seed beads. I'll be right back. All right, so look what I found. Um, I went through some beads. I found some purple beads, which are really, really cool, and I found these white ones. So I might put some of those in there. I'm not sure yet. So let's start out with these. Maybe, if I can get the top open. And we're going to put these in there. Come on. Do, 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 do. Come on, keep it going. I really want to fill this up with beads. Okay, so that's pretty full of beads. Now, I was looking in this goody stuff here and I found this. Look at that. And it has like a, you see it? 
So I'm thinking that's going to go right there. Now, do I want to put something else in there? If I put like a pink flower, it's going to take away from it. Um, I have a couple like snowflakes here that might work. Hold on, let me grab that out. Just going to put a couple pretty snowflakes in there. And then I'm going to put this on top of it. Right there. Now, we've got it all set. This one's ready for the glossy accents. This one, let's throw some of these silver beads in it. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Alright, so there's that. So I'm going to put Okay, let's look at this. I'm just going to put a few of these beads in there. Just because we can. Alright, so we've got those full. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the glossy accents on them. Now the reason I use glossy accents is one, um, I get it on clearance. <laughs> Another reason is because it dries clear. I have to make sure that my, my top here is, I've got a hole in it. This was from a long time ago. I actually started using this one. I can tell because of the way the top is. I cut the whole thing right off because I wanted it to come out quicker. So, what you got to do is you've got to start at one corner or one part, and you've really got to go slow when you're when you're filling this up because if you go real fast, you're going to get air bubbles, and you don't want any air bubbles in this. Now, mine's coming out faster because I have made a bigger hole in the top, but that's okay. Um, don't be afraid to cover all of it up because it will dry clear and you're not going to be able to even tell that it's in there. See this one here, I had it full right to the top. And see, you can't even tell that it's in there. Okay. So this one's got glossy accents on it. Um, I've got a little bit over the rim here. You see where I've got it? So I just want to try to clean that off. I don't want it to be up on that edge and it's okay it's not going to hurt anything I'm just going to clean that edge off and now you're going to want to sit it for about 24 hours and just let it dry and like I said this will dry clear so you'll be able to see all the really cool goodness that you've got down in there I'm going to do the same thing with this one you know I want to put just a couple a couple of these in there. Just want a little bit of pink. So I'm going to put a few of these in there. Not a whole lot. More going on my table than in the thing, but that's all right. Okay, now I'm going to take my glossy accents again, the same thing. I'm going to start on an edge and I'm just going to keep the flow even because if you don't, again, you're going to get air bubbles and you don't want air bubbles in this. So we're going to just make sure we cover up everything. And there we go. That one is completely covered. So I am going to set these aside and in 24 hours I'll come back on and I'll show you the end result. And I hope you guys have fun playing with these. We'll chat in a bit. Okay guys, so here they are. Um, they are completely dry. As you can see, they dried clear. Um, and we've got, we can see, actually I can't see anything because I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> um, we can see all the little goodies that was put in there. I love these eyes. Aren't they cool? Let's see if I can get my thing to focus. Look at that. Aren't these awesome? Okay, there's that one. And then here's this one. 
Now I'm making these for a little project, but I can't tell you what that project is right now because I have to show you when it's time to use them. So I hope you guys have fun making these. Um, if you do make them, I would love to see what you make. Uh, definitely leave a um, show me a picture on my Artsy Endeavor page or um, you know any of the social media, the sister pages would work as well. But I thought it was really cool and I just wanted to show you how they were done. So as always, we'll chat soon. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.